It starts back in 2008 when we discovered this brand new model of Housing First, um, permanent supportive housing. And um, I went to seminars and I went, and it wasn't even in Texas yet. I went to New York, uh, Virginia, San Francisco, Los Angeles to look at Housing First PSH projects. And it was just so exciting because they just took people who were experiencing homelessness and they gave them a house and they started working with them. People did not want us doing a project like this in their neighborhood. So slam, slam doors. And then all of a sudden, August 2019, we found this property. And it just, it was like all of a sudden, all the doors just started opening. It used to be a drive-in theater between 1956 and 1981. And it was called Town Twin Drive-In Theater because it had two big screens. And we thought, well, we need to make some points, you know, with the neighbors. So they loved the theater. They were sad when it closed. Um, and so we decided to call our project Town Twin Village. The board's vision uh, several years ago was to create a village where people that are experiencing homelessness or that are currently unhoused can have a place to stay, uh, not only uh, a house, but a home, because they're constantly worried about uh, their things being stolen or maybe uh, being accosted by somebody, a passerby, or even uh, another person that's living in that encampment. When everything is said and done, uh, they're slated to have 208 units um, that will be comprised of tiny homes, uh, apartments, and the RV trailers. Each of the, uh, each of the tiny homes, um, as well as the RVs, uh, they are all self-contained. So what I mean by that is uh, they have a living area, they have a, uh, a bathroom, um, a bedroom, and a kitchen. Each of these units, like I said, are designed to uh, meet individual needs. And this was the result of lots of hard work by lots of people. And so they're very happy, they're proud to see this being built at the caliber it's being built at. There's a lot of neighborhoods in San Antonio that are impacted by houses population. Uh, a lot of folks that have friends and family members that are living on the streets uh, for various reasons and are looking for some answers and I think that we're able to fill that niche. We're going to be offering services to people who live on site, but also people who are still unhoused. So at the front of our site, they're going to be providing our mental health support. So we'll have several licensed professional counselors, psychiatrists, all of that officing out of our clinic, as well as physicians, dentists. Our folks right now, a huge barrier to them is getting to and from appointments. It's so difficult, especially with the bus. And we're really hoping that one central location for them to get all of these services will help meet a lot of those gaps. And lastly is the transportation pavilion. So that will be a kind of a community bus stop where we will serve some meals out of, but mostly just have Wi-Fi, um, a, a place to sit with fans and water, and that's open to the whole community too. We're going to be so much more than that as well. Uh, I'm a social worker and I want it to be just building community and having positive interactions, whether we are doing something official with paperwork every so often or out saying hi on property. One thing that's really important is that we're trauma informed and what that essentially means is we have an overall awareness. Many have had childhood experiences that we have to be aware of not re-triggering. You know, someone might come in right off the bat and they're like, I got this. You know, I've been waiting for a house for 10 years. I'm ready to move in. But some people might need a lot of help for several years with figuring out how to fold their laundry, put it in the dryer and stuff, but we want to walk through them with that whole process and meet them where they're at and support them as much as we can with it while still encouraging them to have as much independence as they're ready for. We will also have volunteers who live on site called PALS. Um, so those are folks who just um, have never been unhoused, who aren't unhoused, but want to live here and help be part of the community and support the community. And the matter of fact is that working in this field just inherently means that you're trying to do the most with a small amount of resources to help the most amount of people. What we're going to do here is number one, we're going to have kind of a, a pet run, like a dog run. It's also going to be 
um, very open so that they're able to um, have their leashed animal on a walk, right? And having animals can be very beneficial. So we also want to be able to help um, them with things like vet clinics to set our folks up for success if they do have an animal. I'm a volunteer staff member at Catholic Worker House and it looks like we're going to move our residents to here and serve out of here in the near future and and so it's it's going to be an interesting change. You know it's it's just so easy to 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 have a pet in ways it's not always easy but it's 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 a companion it's always there and so I think that's going to be important you know and you see a lot of people that are homeless that have pets but it's not easy it's not easy on the streets so I think that's going to be a big plus for people I really do I think we're really going to stand out and maybe get some kind of momentum going so that this will take off Dignity is one of our biggest values here and when people move in they're just our neighbors. They're just people who live in our community. They're not people who we're trying to rescue or people who we're trying to save. They're just friends who live in a cool neighborhood that happens to be on this site. This is not only a very exciting and important thing we're doing here for San Antonio. This is something that should be duplicated throughout not only Texas but throughout the country. I care so much about the people who will be moving in. It's the whole reason that I work here. I just hope that it's engaging and it's obvious that people cherish each other. Once all is said and done is a dream. It's rare 